Hi, I'm Robin Bensley. Welcome to Chow Time. Each week I bring you one of my recipes. They're always easy and they're always interesting. On the menu today, chicken schnitzel. Try and say that fast three times. What it is, it's a thin piece of chicken fried to a golden brown in a lemon paprika batter and then it's topped with a fried egg. It's simple and it's delicious. But to get you in the mood a little bit, I want to take you on a little tour of the most amazing restaurant in Vienna. It's been called kitsch, stunning, eclectic, and a feast for the eyes as well as the palate. The world-famous Marchfelderhof restaurant has been operating since 1843. Guests are welcomed by the staff rolling out the red carpet. And there have been so many guests that more than 40 thick visitors' books have been signed. Diners have included kings, shahs, princes, politicians, and the Hollywood elite. People like Napoleon, to Pavarotti, to Clark Gable, to Richard Gere. There doesn't seem to be an inch of wall space that isn't covered in memorabilia. I think they just barely make room for the dinner plates. The food is mostly traditional Austrian fare, and they are known for their Wiener Schnitzel. I know what you're thinking. Who does all the dusting at Marchfelderhof? It isn't an amazing place. Well, let's make some chicken schnitzel, and it's so easy. Watch this. I'm going to make two for you today. I'm going to crack an egg. Beat that up a little bit. And then we're going to need the juice of either one large or two small lemons. And if a seed gets in there, that's okay. Then you know it's homemade. And we'll beat that together. And while you're beating it, you want to add flour. A little bit at a time. Just whisk that flour in there because you'll want it to be the consistency of pancake batter. Almost there. And that looks just about perfect. Then we're going to season it with a little bit of salt and some hot paprika. I'm heating some vegetable oil in a large deep pan. I have uh, two chicken breast halves, boneless, skinless chicken breast halves, that my butcher pounded until flat. Uh, it saved me a messy step. You can do this at home in between sheets of wax paper with the flat side of a mallet. So I'm going to take one of them, run it through the batter, and we're going to fry them until they are golden brown.
This will only take a few minutes because, of course, they are thin pieces of chicken. So while those are cooking, I'm going to take a small skillet and I'm going to fry up a couple of eggs in a little bit of butter. You want to make sure that the first side is very nicely brown before you turn it. That'll help the batter to stay on. Very carefully flip them over without splashing yourself. They're done. They're beautifully golden. Uh, that only took about a dozen minutes. And here's all you do. Put it on a plate and top it with a fried egg. You know why I made two, don't you? One for me and one for you. Let's give it a try. Mmm, chicken schnitzel. You know, they've been in, enjoying schnitzel in Vienna since the 1500s. Here's the cool part. You break the egg so it sort of goes all over that. You get a little bite of egg with it. Mm. I love schnitzel. And it's so easy to make. Your turn.